I had a really interesting experience last year when I sat down with a friend and she said she'd had an eating disorder for a really long time. She was bulimic. And I asked her, you know, confidentially, I was like, why do you actually do this? Like what, like the question that no one has asked you, why do you think you do this? And her answer kind of surprised me when she said, I do it because I hate myself. And I thought that was kind of interesting because we assume that, you know, a bulimic or anorexic person does it to look better. But why would she do that to herself if she hated herself? Now later, since then, I've learned that we do all kinds of things to ourselves or we avoid doing things because deep down what we're actually saying is I don't deserve to be X, Y, Z. Now in this video, I want to talk a little bit about what you can do if honestly you hate yourself, you hate your body, and what to do when this basically hatred of yourself prevents you from taking the action that you need to do to live a better life. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master the Day. Now for me, it's interesting, my story is a little bit similar, where <clears throat> I wasn't bulimic or anorexic, but what I'm saying is I have, and still have, honestly, body image issues in the sense that I was always skinny, I got bullied for being skinny, my whole family commented on being skinny, and they still comment, and every woman I've ever dated has commented on being skinny. Now what that means is it's exactly the same if you were raised and you, as a kid you were fat. Imagine if all your friends called you fat. You got bullied for being fat. Your mom called you a whale every time she saw you. Every person you've ever dated was like, you need to lose a few kilos. It would really affect you and affect your action for the long term, right? Well, the same is true for me. And so you could absolutely say that I have a body image issue because I am obsessive about not losing weight, which because of digestive problems and just the way my body naturally is, that's what it default wants to do. And so the longest time, you know, whenever someone would say like, you're so skinny, or a girl I dated would be like, you need to eat more food, you need to do blah, 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 blah. It was like having a second mom, right? You need to do this, you need to do that, bossing me all around. And I'm like, I'm like chained to what this person wants from me. But what happened to me was that over the years of just trying to deal with this, eventually that uh, feeling just became really strong. So you know when you have to do something you don't want, and there's this, uh, this like, I have to push it's the same feeling where you look in the mirror and you hate what you see and you're just like, oh, like just, I don't want it. I really do not want it. And you've probably had this experience too in your own life. It could be with your physical body. It could be with another aspect of your life. But what this experience really is, is one thing. And that one thing is resistance. So that uh, pressurized feeling is a feeling of not accepting whatever the situation is. It's the feeling of, I look so skinny or I look so fat and I don't want to look like that. I don't want that. I, I choose refund. That is not what I wanted or signed up for. The uh feeling is when your partner or someone you're dating does something that you don't want them to do and instead of accepting it, you're like, no, what, what, what are you doing? Like, stop, just stop doing that. Or it's the same contraction you get when you look at your bank account and your bank account says negative $50 and you're like, that's not right. It's not supposed to be like that. I don't want that. Like, screw this. I'm not going to check my bank account anymore. And the thing that I learned that has since changed my life dramatically is that if you can embody one trait that will make your life better internally, I'm talking about this whole corny inner peace thing, like actually liking yourself, actually being okay with the way life's going, actually not getting agitated about every little thing or upset over whatever, that one thing is allowing. It's non-resisting. It's just letting the inside be clear. So here's what I want you to do. I know that I did that blame game experiment recently, but this one is a little bit different. This is a non-resistance game, allow. So here are a few examples you can practice it. When you walk into the mirror in the bathroom and you look in the mirror in the morning and you see something you don't like, rather than going, ugh, I look so fat or, oh man, I look so weak, what I want you to do is just say, I accept. I accept, okay, it's okay, that's it. Say, I accept, okay, it's okay. And then you can do whatever you need to do for yourself. When you look at your bank account and there's not enough money, rather than getting into this panic, fight or flight, neurotic thing, just say, it's okay. Okay. I accept. Repeat those three things. It's okay. I will not resist. This is the fact right now. And if there's something going on in your relationship or in your life or with your school grades or you're stressing out about work or school, 
it's okay. Okay, I accept. It's okay. And then you can do whatever has to happen to improve your life. And an interesting thing happens. The first thing is that when you accept, you say, it's okay, I accept, I'm going to allow this, I'm not going to resist, you're calm. You're okay. Internally, there's no emotional stuff turning up, and now you can take clear-headed action towards whatever that is. So you can be 50 pounds overweight, think you look like garbage, and look in the mirror and be like, you know what? I accept. I'm not going to resist. This is where I am right now. Now, what do I have to do? You could look at the bank account and say, this sucks. I have a ton of debt. I accept. I'm not going to resist. Now, what do I need to do? Or in my relationships, or I'm always single because I date the wrong kind of people that are messed up and treat me poorly. Okay, I accept. I'm not going to resist. Now, what do I have to do for the next steps? And I'll tell you, this last hundred days of doing this experiment, I've had so much, it's so cliche, but peace. Like the thing I never have, I'm a calm person, but I almost never have this complete inner, just clear, just completely clear. No fear, no resistance, no stress, even though I have a lot on my plate. When you do this, you'll have such an inner sense of calm. You're not going to get upset over little things. You're not going to get upset over your body or your diet or your money or the person you're dating. You're not going to get upset because you're just letting it go. It's cool. It's okay. I allow. I don't resist. And then I get on with my life and I do the things that I have to do. So before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what is the one thing you could practice as far as this non-resistance exercise? Hey guys, Alex here. I hope that video helped. Now the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk forward slash YouTube. You can also check it out in the link in the description there below. And otherwise, come check out my last two videos that just came out that will also help you reach your fitness and your life goals.